What's up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, this Garander. And today we're going up against Garab. And due to his name being a bit too long and a bit too complex for my tongue to kind of make, I'll just I sell for Garab. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go there. But anyway, he won an any match and uh, I was looking for battle, obviously. And we had a very late game match, it was a really, really fun one, a very exciting one. I designed a new NU team that I wanted to try out, and um, yeah, it's um, it's pretty tough. And my opponent is bringing a very very bulky team, really a lot of walls, but it does seem to lack uh, um, pressure, really. Um, he got the Soul Rock, Zip Striker, Noctal, Charmeleon, Executor, and Granville. Uh, Granville is probably the toughest poke. Even Executor, if I can't outspeed it. Uh, it's going to break habit because it does have some potential bulk and very, very high special attack stats. Uh, I myself am using Muck, Magmortar, Playduel, Lapras, Go Goat, yes, you are right, and of course, Barbarical. Now, very little to say here, I did thought that he could leave with Substrike or Charmeleon. Those felt like the obvious moves, or he could leave with Sol Rock, and I felt that Muck was my honest, my good, best lead, really. Because no matter what it brings, I could stop curses. Because I have enough bulk, especially oriented, to kind of wall things out and you know chunk myself up and then actually going for a very very early game sweep. That was what I was going at, and um, that didn't really pan out. You're going to see just why. So let's do this. So yeah, he's gonna start up with the pink brute, and I was like, oh, that is like how? How did you? <laughs> <laughs> How did you see that one coming? But alright, so honestly, both, of course, the Gramble and the Executor was the only thing really real was able to kind of fall, a little force my muck out. So he actually didn't feel comfortable staying in, so not an earthquake wasn't coming my way, which was lucky there. And uh, he's gonna go to Soul Rock, and he's not feeling safe standing near either. So I'm just gonna go for my Stealth Rocks. I felt that this was probably my honest chance to get that one up. Uh, usually I don't carry stealth rocks, but sometimes I know it is necessary and definitely in competitive scene. And I do decide to stay in here because I thought he wouldn't dare to go for a Giga Drain because I have go go after all, and you don't want to go go to get that speed or attack boost. But no, he's just gonna do that play, and now it's really risking that. Okay, oh, he's probably gonna go for another Giga Drain because Psy Shock won't take me out. And I felt that, you know, I can't really go to my or to my go go anyway because I don't really wanna go for bull cap setup. Because Psy Shock will do a significant amount of damage even with a bulk up, so I decided to go into my Mag Mortar, the Sulfur, and Jim. He went for Psy Shock. Yeah, so right now I'll be badly outplayed here, and um, yeah, <laughs> not enough momentum right now. Uh, this is a very, 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 very tough Mag Mortar. It is specially heavy oriented with speed, it doesn't have the bulk whatsoever. But with Stealth Rock in combination with the Flamethrower, I am able to do a good chunk of damage. And I felt that, you know what, I should just show the Thunderbolt, showing him that I'm not Scarfed. I just wanted to show him that, you know, I am all about the damage here and no Life Orb. So I felt that he should maybe predict that I have my common set that is on Type Lotion, which is the Power Herb Solar Beam. And I was debating on this on Twitter, you know, whether or not it's worth using. But I think this kind of shows it that Solar Beam does what uh, Hidden Power Grass cannot. That is being 60% stronger. That means Oko. Yes. It is that simple. Yes, it's made for one hit. I know that. I know this. But in contrast, what I have to choose from, that is definitely a superior choice of moves. You know why? Because often it's only one thing that's weak to grass that can kind of wall a fire Pokemon out. It's rarely have two Pokemon that kind of fares that out. And even if so, Focus Blast is an option, but anyway, he's gonna go for Dragon Pulse here, it does does not do enough, I was like, how? How did I survive that? And I was definitely like in a foddering move, and I was gonna stay in here, and um, I take it, I survived with 1 HP, that is just so bad, and I was feeling here, alright, I should go for a, a theoretical 6-0 um, here, I have the chance to do just that, I didn't really need to go for Toxic on this thing, I have mocked and kind of walls that out, I just... I wasn't in that mindset at that point. So anyway, with that mind, I actually decided, alright, I gain enough momentum, my Magmortar has done a little chunk of damage to his team, I could do something else here. And I just didn't go to Muck, and Muck is taking this really, really good. I mean, 
It is unstabbed after all, but that is just the worst. Wow! Muck is such a champ. Anyway, I didn't really, really want to, um, uh, what do you call it, to set up just yet because of Gramble. So I decided that go for Poison Punch. He's either going to execute her or his Gramble. And, uh, of course, the Intimidation is very real here, but uh, Muck is just feeling that, you know what? You might intimidate me, but I can crit you. Mm. That is so bad. It's so bad for my opponent there. He should definitely have taken that one, and he should have been able to retaliate. That is just the worst, worst kind of luck, honestly. And he's gonna go to his three phases, one form, and um, yeah, of course, I felt that. You know, like I said, I want to preserve my six zone position, but at the same time. This thing can just do so much damage, I might as well fall off my rectum. Yes, I just said that. And um, he's gonna go down and do it. Really here, I just want a very, very like easy switch into my Magmortar because my I know Magmortar can definitely you know definitely deal with this Pokemon. And the Sulfur is gonna come in and um, I basically go for Flamethrower. Uh, even if you decide to switch out, he has no Pokemon that takes this Flamethrower well. We got, what is that? 120 base special attack. That is that is you know, no joke whatsoever. So it's going to go to Substrika, and I was backing on this being specially oriented, so I did not go to my defensive wall. And if I did, uh, my Barbarical would not have taken this well anyway. And so I'm just going to Ash Tor, and what do you know? Wild Charge! Boom! That's just it. Wow! Wow! A man that hurts. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a last effort shadow sneak really. I just wanted to get a poison touch, whatever. You know, I got the bad touch on this thing. So you're gonna go for that um, perv move that is the shadow sneak. I don't score a poison sadly, but it does a fair amount of damage before going down. And Muck, of course, is not. <laughs> it's not even running one of those. It's just gonna fall, go, becoming the sludge she always wanted to be. And um, yeah, I can basically go to my Lapras here, Voronol. And uh, I do pack the high shard, which is uh, it is in the range where I can actually take that one out. Um, Lapras is such a powerful poke. I don't remember why I haven't used it before. Uh, after Oru was shifted, I definitely got this feeling for the Lapras again. He just he covers so much and got the bulk. And now comes the overheat, powerful stab move, which is a neutral hit. And what do you know? It is not cooking in this Nessie. <laughs> And um, yeah, Lapras is just gonna finish this off, and that will be GG. So yeah, a very very straightforward game. A lot of momentum was put on my opponent's side in the beginning, but uh, the power of my team really just uh, took it back, and um, that is how the battle looked from once Magmore was in, there was just no way of coming back. So GG Gara, GG. So yeah, before we even talk about this battle, I just wanted to say like the reason this battle turned out the way it did. Uh, before this battle, I actually I reached out on Twitter, you know, I wanted to end your game, or end your Aru. I had two teams, this was my end your team, and the Aru team was a Trick Room team. And um, the two battles I had wanted a PU game, another one an NU PU game. Um, and uh, both the, those two guys were Stardasher and uh, oh, uh, Dustin, I think it's called Shackle Death. Uh, both of them being very, very good players, but the thing was, and I'm, I'm not going to, like, to take away their victory because I really I was playing very badly at those. I just threw something together, and when you just throw something together to somebody who has had the time and an idea what they wanted to create, you're gonna get outmatched. And I was definitely feeling both those games that you know I had no power whatsoever to change the aspect of the battle. And um, Gara got, of course, the shorthand there where I actually got to use the team I was intended to use. And it just, since Gary is much more like me, you know, playing a lot more, you know, funny teams, he just felt all of it. And I felt like I was on the opposite side this time where my opponents were just, it was built for battling. And I felt like Gary got that, <laughs> that I was just, I was so much more powerful than I usually am, you know, much more aggressive. And I think com combination with the saltiness I was feeling after those two losses, he just got all of it. He got the havoc, he got the rage, he got everything, and he definitely didn't deserve that. So, Gera, I, I'm really sorry about this, to be honest, because I do feel that this is not how I play, this is not how I want to... Uh, this is not how I want to recreate my teams, and I felt that you got all of the <laughs> rage I was feeling proud, or the frustration that uh, I was really hoping that this team would prevail, and uh, this was the first time I got using it, and it just was... 
it just had that pressure. It just, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't think about it at that time. But yeah, this was definitely um, overdoing it. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We're going to rebattle soon again because you definitely, you, you deserve what you actually are looking for and something that I usually do looking for and actually recreate, which is not competitive teams. It is fun teams. It's what it should be all about and not this rage-filled hate that is the, the mag purple magmortar. Um, so yeah, like I said, GG Garrett, really, and I'm, I, I am sorry. <laughs> and also people who have been watching, you know, thank you so much for doing that. And uh, I hope you like my competitive side. You, you don't get used to it because I really felt that this, this was just brutal. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for watching, of course. And don't forget to leave a like, you did just that. And um, if you're new to the channel, I guess you could subscribe. Huh? And remember, guys, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, all right? Bye.